it was pure survival at that point. I didn't know where we were going to end up. A San Diego woman describes the terrifying moments that she spent in the back of an Uber. She is one of hundreds of people now going after rideshare companies for not doing enough to prevent sexual assault or battery. 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena talked to her about the day she says now haunts her. Lindsay. That's right, Kim and Steve. She is one of at least three San Diego women who are now suing rideshare companies. She opened up to us tonight and says she hopes by sharing her story, other victims might feel empowered to come forward. Candy Chase remembers the day very well. Mother's Day, May 13th, 2018. She ordered an Uber to meet her daughter for breakfast, but quickly realized something didn't seem right. As soon as I got into the car, I heard the doors lock. Chase says only a few minutes had passed when she saw the driver do something she almost couldn't believe. He starts exposing himself and he's masturbating. The rest of the ride, she says she spent in fear, wondering if he would let her go. He did drop her at her daughter's, and although he never touched her, Chase says the feeling of violation was very real. I picked up the phone and called Uber right away and, and filed a complaint. She also filed a police report, but says it was Uber that she couldn't get answers from. The CHP report identifies the driver as Juan Castillo Garcia, the very same man seen here in a Vista courtroom later in 2018. Garcia was also a priest in Carlsbad and convicted of sexual battery of a seminary student. Chase is now suing. Her lawyer, Mike Bomberger's firm, represents more than 100 women in approximately 40 states who claim they were sexually assaulted or raped in Uber and Lyft rides. Chase, like many others, hopes this will send a strong message to the company. Something to give security to anybody that gets into the back of the car. Castillo did serve jail time and was ordered to register as a sex offender. Chase tells us she has not used Uber since and never will again.